JP Dokkan just got an E-Data download, which features the free-to-play Halloween cards for 2022. We're going to go into the details of those said cards, but before we get into that, if you don't know already, Super Dragon Ball Heroes crossover is confirmed for this year in November, both Global and JP. The featured card is going to be Hearts here. Everybody's super excited for Hearts because he's the, the JP voice actor for him is Dio from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Hopefully, he's going to be really good, somebody that can last a length of time. Because that's one problem with Super Dragon Ball Heroes cards is that they rely on other crossover Super Dragon Ball Heroes category units. And because they only get like one time of the year to get the buff, they age out pretty quickly. So hopefully they're like either busted or they don't rely too heavily on Super Dragon Ball Heroes. And one thing for sure is that linking partners are really hard to find because... You know, they have these specific links that only work with Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Uh, we also have confirmed characters that are going to be Doken Awakening, which is the Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, Super Saiyan 4 Bardock, Supreme Kai of Time, and Rebello. It is not confirmed who's going to be EZAing this year or how many are going to EZA, but hopefully they are all very, very good. And it should be a good set of characters, I think. Now let's jump into the Halloween free-to-play cards. We have three units here. Um, they're all dropping on the 27th of October. And it is going to be the Super Strike Pycon, the Angel Deborah, which is actually the Halloween card. And then we also have the oh, EZA for the Android 17 and Ada. So let's look at Physical Deborah Angel first. Thank you to Minato for doing the translations really quickly. Uh, first of all, he's not an EZA unit. He's just going to be a base TUR. Other World Warriors leader for 50%. Physical types key plus 2 and 30% bonus. 12 key is raise attack for one turn cause the supreme damage to the enemy. One thing for these Halloween units, they're not super OP, but when they easy A, they're going to be really, really good. Um, I'm expecting the 8 and 17 to be really, really strong, or at least defensively strong. Passive skill, 104% attack and defense, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% per super class ally on the team. The problem with this is that his link set is not really good for the super class ally team. Uh, Superclass allies 2 key and 30%. If the target enemy is in attack or defense down status, plus additional attack and defense plus 104%. Recovers 10% HP at the end of the turn. Recovers HP with candy. Okay, so the problem with this is that it's not red zone viable, obviously. Attack and defense down is very rare on red zone. Um, Superclass ally he doesn't really fit on the Superclass ally team, which means you either sacrifice a special linking partner or you sacrifice the extra a bit of 10% attack and defense or how many uh, superclass allies you end up bringing. So for his link sets, he has the Innocence more than meets the eye, Gentleman, Solar Support, Master of Magic, Otherworld Warriors, and Shattering the Limit with categories Majibu Saga, Otherworld Warriors, and Siblings Bonds, which for free to play aren't too strong. If we look at the linking partner for this Dabura, it's going to be Supreme Kai of Time, which I'm not too sure is worth it. Uh, there's just nobody that links up with him fully, and all of his real linking partners aren't really strong main slot units. It's going to be very interesting um, for him to be used. Even when he's easy A's, it's going to be very interesting for us to use. Now let's look at the physical Hachan and Android 17 easy A here. Super excited for this one because he's had his guard when before he's easy A. So I wonder how good this is going to be. Android's leader for 77%, physical type 3 key and 50%. Raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage to the enemy with a high chance to stun. I kind of realized he wasn't going to get raised defense, but just like a slight higher chance to stun. Nothing too crazy changes on his 12 key. Attack and defense was 125% when HP is 80% or below. An additional attack and defense was 80%. Chance of performing a critical hit plus 25% and reduced damage received by 25%. That's good. Guys, all attacks for the first eight turns from the first appearance. So that didn't change at all. Plus the additional attack and defense is 80% and it performed an additional attack which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack for eight turns after receiving an attack. So I wish the HP restriction wasn't there still. But at least when you do get the HP restriction, he actually gets defense. He gets some um, extra bit of attack and defense, and the extra bit of damage reduction does help because he does guard as well. Cool thing is that he gets this attack and defense plus 80% after receiving an attack. That's going to help him out a lot, especially when if you don't have this. But I think he's actually going to be a really strong unit, especially if you can manage your health to be underneath the 80% HP. And even then, I think he should be somewhat viable still. Um, without the HP under 80% restriction, um, just because he can guard at the very least. And then the final card that we need to look at is the EZA Pycon. Don't worry about this translation, it's very muddled up. I got the actual one 
on screen right here. Uh, age old leader for three key and 70% up. It's interesting, it's not 77%, but I guess he's also an STR as well. Um, deals supreme damage to the enemy, lowers the attack and defense. Um, I was hoping for like greatly lower attack or something like that, not just defense. I think originally he had just lowering attack. I wish it was just greatly lowering attack. I don't think we need that lowering defense at all. Uh, attack and defense was 140%, and then an additional attack and defense was 20% up to 60% per attack performed. Attack and defense plus 20% to all allies, which is nice. Key plus one and additional attack and defense plus 10% to all allies if there is a superclass ally attacking in the same turn. Very, very easy. And 50% for attacks to become critical hits if HP is 80% or more. Attack and defense minus 20% to all enemies and high chance to stun the target enemy if there is an extreme class enemy. I think the problem with this guy, just off the rip, is that he might not be defensively as good as I expect him to be. Because one, he doesn't raise defense on super. A lot of the other super strike units get raised defense. I don't know why this guy didn't get it, which is unfortunate. But I'm not too sure how... And also, I don't think he has a 200% leader, which is also another issue. He does have 10,000 defense, which I don't think that's going to carry him to 300,000 defense, but I'm not too sure. But I guess he does have built-in critical, so you can just go max additional for that lowering attack. I think he's more going to be like a super battle road character if you haven't been in one of these categories yet. So that's going to wrap it up for the translations. Now, I guess we can finalize this video by looking at the Deborah essay animation as well. There's some other stuff that Dokkan World has posted. Um, this will be very interesting. I don't know what this Angel Krillin and Angel Yamcha super attacks are. Maybe it's the enemies in here. I don't expect too much from this Deborah. Like, where have you ever seen Angel Deborah actually attack? Yeah, pretty casual. Oh, wait, there's another one? Oh, wait. Pycon's here? I know he's in the art, but... That was a... It's not a unit super attack. That's, I guess that's the 12 key and then the 18 key. That's so weird, actually. All right, so now this is Super Strike Pycon. Definitely a huge upgrade um, from his previous form. And then we have this Krillin, this Angel Krillin. I'm guessing he's just going to do a combo now. Even worse. <laughs> He did a crazy normal attack. An angel Yamcha. <laughs> oh, God. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on so you don't miss out on the daily content. Check out my social media's link in the description. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.